hosting a fifth consecutive triple-double, which saw him become just the second player to ever do that. Charles Barkley is still blaming Doncic for the Mavericks' up-and-down season. We make a big deal out of Luka's numbers. His numbers should be going down. The better players you play with, your numbers should go down. He's got to do a much better job of getting rid of the ball, using those other guys. They got P.J. Washington and, and, and uh, Daniel Gafford. And, and Gafford, your numbers should go down, not up. And his numbers are going up. That's why they're not winning. Washington and Gafford were solid trade deadline pickups. And while soon to be 32 year old Uncle Drew Kyrie Irving can still be around a star caliber player, Barkley's acting like Doncic has every superstar at his disposal around him in Dallas. Chuck puts the blame on Luka for his numbers going up, but what the argument fails to factor in is that some of those numbers signal career best unselfishness. Doncic is averaging a career high in assists per game by far, and isn't just third overall among all NBA players in direct assists, but he's also third in potential assists. Barkley's take describes this mid-23-24 Mavericks depth chart as the 2017-18 Golden State Warriors. I think it's off base to put the blame on the player carrying the team in five out of six major stat categories, and it's not like Luka's scoring on an inefficient volume. Doncic is shooting a career high from all of the field, from deep range, and from the foul line. Versus Miami, Luka's 35 points were produced on a stellar 68% true shooting mark, as he would only get four attempts at the charity stripe, mostly scoring the basketball ethically, which you have to respect. When isolating Jimmy Butler, watch how Luka hits a five-time All-NBA defender with a shiftily fundamental signature size up. This is going to low Butler into anticipating a drive that's never going to come. And Doncic in turn opens enough room to let it fly. Doncic, Butler, three, You're about to see more meticulous analysis of deep range bombs like that courtesy of one of basketball's best talents on the planet right now in just a few seconds. Right quick, just 12% of you watching right now are subscribed to your boy though, so if you're not in that percentage, splash that subscribe button down below. We're witnessing a once in a lifetime spectacle with Luka, as along with Doncic joining the all-time triple doubles leader in Russ as the second player to have ever posted five consecutive triple doubles, Thursday night at American Airlines Center was only the second time in NBA history where a player posted a performance of at least 35 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists, and 7 threes simultaneously. Additionally, Luka is now the only player of all time to average 37 plus points, 11 plus rebounds, and 10 plus assists over a 15 game span. Credit to Kyrie Irving's interception and pitch ahead for setting up the Slovenian scoring night versus Miami, as a moving crossover directly into a moving jab step gets Jovic thinking drive. Doncic the other way, step back triple, Jovic the blows, and a three is in by Luka. On this play, first year product of Duke University Derek Lively II does an excellent job to both screen Luka's matchup at the point of attack and then to force Adebayo to put a body on him by filling the lane, in turn neutralizing Bam's chances at helping onto Luka's drive. Eric Spolstra continues to stay solid as opposed to switching ball screens, which following this solid pick from Josh Green, allows the NBA's leading scorer to isolate Jaime Jaquez. After hitting the Heat's rookie sensation with a saucy combo, he then comfortably flows into a second patented step back triple, drawing the attention of all five Miami defenders. This Jokic-esque no-look pass where Doncic eyes the right corner and instead dishes to the top of the arc is just too damn elusive to even attempt to scope out. Only problem is, Dante's hesitant to let it fly despite being wide open. Instead, Exum opts the drive and kick to Luka on the baseline for a bunny. A Maxi Kleba one jump ball is succeeded by Doncic sealing out a bio with 95 overall strength to gather it and subsequently tossing this masterful overhead bullet above every Miami defender to Kyrie and credit Irving for fluidly receiving and completing the high velocity outlet. Here, you could argue Doncic should have kicked it out to Irving, but sometimes being too unselfish can actually be selfish, as Doncic has the intelligence to read that Daniel Gafford is being monitored by Bam Adebayo, which is about to leave the paint wide open. And we all know a surefire 2 is a higher percentage look than Irving's shot much further away from the basket, so Luka drop steps past Rogier for the deuce. 
A touch of the value from former Washington Wizard Daniel Gafford's trade deadline addition is then showcased. Gaff lays an effective big body screen, which is followed by Doncic collapsing Adebayo's drop coverage with a fake floater, and all in one motion lobbing it to Gaff. Dante Exum and Luka Doncic's overseas connection is going to hook up this opportunity where Doncic is off the ball catching and shooting as the trailer in transition. Long strides, hands to Doncic, it's a three! Luka Doncic with the triple! Again in transition and again from Dante, this time Luka goes three quarters into his jump shooting release drawing the eyes of Rozier, Martin, and Robinson, which leaves Derek open to receive a mid-air Doncic dime. Mavs head coach and former five-time All-NBA first team player Jason Kidd gets a ton of flack for not using Luka more off the ball, but right here, you're watching a third straight Doncic attack that's initiated from an off-ball set. With Exum dishing, Lively the seconds cross screen ties up Martin, who still gets back for an outstanding closeout, but holy crap, that's just one hell of a shot. Regarding off ball actions being ran for Luca, how about another one? As this time, it's a Lively flare screen set in the opposite direction, followed by a Lively on ball screen getting Luca a drive left, a fake floater slash lob then collapses Haquez, setting up a smooth dish to Maxi Kleba in the corner. Luka. Three. With Butler now taking on the challenge, Lively slips his screen. Miami opts to hedge Luka in the pick and roll, but Doncic reads the coverage knowing Adebayo is about to rotate back to the paint, and this drifting back midi in traffic is damn crafty. While he's underappreciated by those like Chuck, like the young legend that he is, in what was a record-setting performance, Luka saved his best for last. Kyrie tracking down this loose ball was crucial, and after locating Doncic with a short bouncer at the end of the 24, with Butler helping and with Martin draped all over him, Doncic calmly falls away with an inch of space for a high-arcing deep-range bomb to put Dallas up one in the final stages. Luka would drain another clutch dagger to cap it off when isolated onto Jimmy, Rewind back to the intro to see more on that. In terms of the Luka hate, if he had another superstar next to him, then the criticism potentially would be valid. Kyrie Irving is a really good star player, who by the way has seen his numbers take a massive leap over the last few months. Irving being an efficient 28 per night guy since the new year hit, wasn't brought up by Barkley in terms of how Luka's allowed another high volume creator to thrive within his offense. Bottom line here is, and my point here being, for now, the Doncic haters are straight up nitpicking, in my opinion. Because how do you discredit a man for increasing his statistical output? I get Barkley doesn't believe in analytics, that's kind of his MO, but that's taken things to a whole different level of ignorance. But do you agree with Chuck about Luka deserving this sole blame for Dallas ranking eighth in the West so far? Let me know your full take on Doncic and the Barkley criticism down below. Best answer in the comments section gets next video shout out. Today's shout out winners are on your screen. Appreciate every take. This was your boy D Flow, and I'll see you next video.